Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Jamie Martinez. Today I'll be showing you how to change the engine oil and filter on a 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan with the 3.6 liter variable valve timing. Now the oil filter on this car sits right there where my wrench is at. It is a cartridge type that you just remove. And I'm going to show you how to replace that right now. And now if we go under the car, I have the oil draining, which is still draining right now. And I wanted to make this video because these cars are always using the cartridge type after the year they came out. So now, I'm about to show you what it's going to be like to take it off. stuck it in a weird place I hate when engineers put them in the weirdest places nowadays All right, now we're about to show you it's like if I can get it off Sorry for the camera calling me shaky, but can you on with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these filter types. I don't know why they went with them, but we're going to end up replacing it real quick on my mom's car I know I should do a little more of these videos on how to do it so right now I did it on my terrain that I had last year and I'm doing it on this one which is gonna be fun I'm about to show you why end up putting it on here? There we go. We've gotten it. And as you can see, there it is. The cartridge filter is right there. As you can see that. So now, I'm going to put you all down real quick so I can do this. Now, as you guys can see, I just put the brand new O-wing on right there. Now we're about to put the filter in. And by the way, I'm using a brand new Wix filter, which is going to be nice. I've used Wix before in the past, and I like the Wix brand. And now we're going to stick it back in the slot, making sure everything lines up 
nicely. Now we're about to screw it in. And you want these things snug, but ooh, ha, ha, but not too tight. Like the dealership, they decided to just ram it down in there. So now, put the wrench back on it. And slowly go at it till it's nice and snug. And the oil we're using for this one is W520 for the 3.6. I went with a synthetic blend. I went with the uh, Mob 1. Here it's a good brand. So as we keep snugging down our filter so that it's where we want it nice and tight. We don't want it too crazy. We just want it to where it stops. And there goes the past a little bit of turning. And you see right there we are snug down, which you want it. You want it over tight. And now I'm about to grab the uh, bolt for the oil. As you can see, the oil is still dripping. But now I'm going to go right there and cover it up. And it takes a number 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna get as much as we can out, which we just did right now. And as you can see, I'm screwing it back into place. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that it's snug, not over tightened. That's where most people make the mistake of over, over tightening it. And you don't need it crazy tight. They do use a crush washer on them. And which would be a recommended preferred to use the crush washer. All you want to do is just snug it down just like that. <clears throat> it's perfect. That's all you want to do. Now, I'm going to take out the oil. Not spilling anything. And that oil looked pretty good. Wasn't burker still going a little bit more? So now I just showed you how to change the oil on a 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.6 on it. And this is Joe Martinez and I gotta say, we are done. We're about to fill it up with the oil right now. <clears throat>